Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Whoa. Hey, morning people. Uncle Craig here doing my thing on the Thai farm life on the Thai farm and uh, I was down here actually repairing an electrical what do you call that extension cord for my mother-in-law I'm gonna finish that and then I was looking around on my underside of my house here and again it's what is this it's uh, end of uh, middle of October November December yeah still about 18 18 no 20 20 months since we since we moved uh, here when did the house go up the house go up in January no I got here in January the house maybe February yeah so I don't know not yet two years a year and three quarters maybe <clears throat> and you know from time to time I, I give little tidbits of information about maintenance and people ask questions that the, the to me it's actually comedic almost the kind of comments on the like on the uh, expat website or Facebook group or um, construction in Thailand Facebook group uh, but so many people are like oh don't do the wood house termites and oh, oh you know man you don't know nothing although a little disclaimer here that's here in Kampang Pit it's not a problem evidently it maybe if you're somewhere maybe in the south or maybe where it's more humid or I don't know maybe somewhere else you stick a piece of wood in the ground and it just covers itself with termites I don't know but I don't get that here but we do get the you know the mud wasps they come in they make those little mud nests and stuff and you don't want that I mean they, they that etches away at the finish of your wood and um, and so I have to, you know, knock those out and you can't really scrape them off like, like this one here has been scraped off, but it's still got the brown kind of stuff on there, right? And um, so one of the things, I mentioned this briefly, I know, in another video, but one of the things I think that are very good to have, one of the tools of the trade, is that little water blaster. You know, you don't need to, if you have a water blaster and you have a wood house, yeah, have at it but actually you don't even have to have wood house probably even because you get those mud nests and all that other stuff and cobwebs and stuff on any house probably but these little handy dandy what is it well no that's the battery I think this battery is for something else but you know they call these batteries power share because a lot of them yeah it says right on the front power share because a lot of them fit the other tools that they sell so on uh, not not the same brand it can be you know whatever these tools coming out of China like this uh, they get to swap batteries a lot so that's pretty cool but anyways this thing is pretty cool it was only like 10 bucks or something and it goes you know it's just got a plastic cord and it goes into a bucket of water with a filter trap at the end of it and you get high pressure water and so what I do is I can go around here and blast all this stuff out like I already started it, but over here, you know, you got even the little stuff. You got starting uh, little pieces of wood or, you know, dirt there. And over here, some remnants already been knocked out. But what uh, what I like to do, and over here in the corner, what I like to do is, if it's a big muddy nest or whatever, you know, like the before it's been knocked out or whatever, I'll blast this thing, get it all wet and stuff, and I'll come back to it and then blast it off because usually it gets clean but it's a pretty good deal man it's definitely worth it it has like even all these little it starts to be a little bit of a cobweb there there's cobwebs and this wood you don't you don't have to worry about this wood getting wet man not at all so i just blast it and, and it'll be it'll be good i'm gonna put this over here while i work so you can see just a little bit of what I'm doing. Everybody likes to know 
you know. Life on the dry farm. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes if this gets pinched, it'll restrict the flow. So and it's been used, I've been turning around stuff. So it's a quick release, by the way. But I pinch it here to give it maximum flow. Start here going. There we go. Yeah, look at that, brand new. And again, because this cart, drink cart, is made of teak, uh, that water ain't gonna pay no, never mind. Ain't gonna matter one iota. You know what I mean? You can also blast all this uh, teak outdoor furniture stuff that we bought down there in Wang Chow. Uh, you know, you're up in here and there's, it's Gecko City, right? Anywhere, I think, it doesn't matter if it's in the middle of Bangkok or out here on the farm, you get a lot of geckos and geckos, they like to the crap. So they got little turds everywhere. Normally you brush them off, whatever, but you know, they get sticky and stuff. So this thing blasts them right off, man. And it's actually, and, you know, it's actually kind of hard to clean this furniture because you're trying to get in the nooks and crannies and stuff and you're doing all this all the time and you probably need a, a, a brush, but... Make short order of it, it's pretty good. It's not strong enough to, you know, peel the paint off at like a high pressure water, uh, you know, water blaster. But it's definitely, you know, perfect, easy to use. So it's probably not hard enough to blast off of like, like the, what do we call that, you know, on the pavement, the algae gets on the pavement. It's not hard enough for that, but it's pretty hard. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to hit your hand with it. Ow, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's hard enough to hurt your hand, but uh, you know, you gotta watch it. Mats, the, the mats, you know, they 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 wear and tear, not just from sitting on it, but from um, you know the elements, super hot and this and that. I noticed with these, the the. Um, you know, the orange stuff starts to break off and accumulate, so. But you can also get, you know, spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a, we got a, we got some, some, some maggots. Or not, are they maggots? No, not maggots, those, that's fly or ant larvae. Why is that? Well, it looks like right there, that a dead lizard got underneath there. Well, I better get a fresh bucket for this environment. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to blast them. Did you know? I didn't know, but answer. Would I, are ants carnivores? I guess they'd have to be if they're eating meat, huh? <laughs> well, 
I know that when they bite me, or I know they do bite me, and when they do, god dang, that hurts. Well, ba boom. Made short order of that, eh? And now they're on the ground. Although the couple of them are on my leg. The larvae, I don't think they'll survive on the ground by itself. <clears throat> it's gotta be in that environment in which they were hatched or created or whatever but I still could I still need to blast the sides of this thing so we'll get busy with that why is there something crawling on my ear yeah. well that was funny eh? <laughs> so now actually what I'm gonna do is uh, all right I'm gonna take the hose the regular hose I'm gonna wash everything off of here. There's a ton of, uh, you know, there's dead stuff on the ground already. Cats usually will kill the lizards. The geckos, they just, you know, play with them until they're dead and then they ignore them. They don't eat those. The other lizards will eat them, but not the geckos. And then they just lay here dead and, and or they, the geckos fight, you know, they fight each other and then one of them dies and drops on the ground. Ants devour most of what they can. They leave the rest and it's a mess. And the frogs, I told you my little frog hotel over here. Um, the toads, I should say. They come out and they crap everywhere too. So, you know, fair enough time time. I gotta hose it all down. I don't have a pressure nozzle on the hose, so you know, I use my thumb pressure. I probably would do well to have a uh, pressure nozzle on there but it's hard to put the I haven't found the right you know the right end that can latch on to the damn uh, you know one inch line that I have because the, the, the well pump you know puts out a fair amount of pressure and so when you have those little you know pressure nozzles they can't handle the pressure and it gets back pressure and it builds up right behind there and you know pops the handle off or whatever but you know the struggles I do have my you know I have the, the nozzle here and over there but that's that's clean water I don't really want to use my clean water tank to uh, wash down you know this because it'll take a little bit to wash it down it's 11 by 13 meters so but it does look a lot cleaner now normally I wouldn't had to wash this whole thing like I just did like I washed every rung and floor so it took me you know whatever 15 20 buckets probably and uh, uh, two batteries for that sprayer but normally uh, you know a couple of buckets and 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 uh, you know certainly just one battery on that sprayer is enough if you're doing timely maintenance what is timely maintenance I'm gonna say you know every three months maybe Every three or four months, depends on, you know, I guess what's happening. You gotta observe it. If you're walking around, you see, damn, there's like five new mud wasps. And you gotta get up there and get them out, you know. But fair enough, if you just blast in that area, then that area, if you just knock out what's there, 
then um, it shouldn't take you too long. But I do like that it's off of there because, you know, like I say, if it stays on there over a longer period of time, it, it'll it'll etch into the the lacquer that's, you know, it's not so much protecting the wood as it is, you know, making it look nice. But, yeah. Yeah, man. Life on the farm. It's kind of like washing your car, you know. On the sunny days, you get out and wash your car. You get done, it feels good. <laughs> and here, you, you wash your house. Get done, it feels good. That uh, those lights that I set up for the sala yesterday, and that you know they're not. They're, I don't think they're cutting it, man. So I'm uh, I'm sending them back. I mean, it, it was hard to find a 50 meter string anyway, but. And actually it said, when I went back and looked, you know, it did say waterproof, by the way. Those are copper lines, even though they're silver colored, they're, it says copper line. But um, it says waterproof, so it doesn't need to be in a tube or anything. Um, but again, the, the lights lit up dimly, but they lit up just out across one side of the bridge, and then you turn right and just about to the corner, and then, then the rest of them didn't light up. And it wasn't, I don't think it was a connection. I think it was because the power was not getting out all that way. And even still, it wasn't wasn't bright. And then when I'm looking, you know, to see about it, waterproof stuff, I saw, you know, in the description, it said, it talked about the number of lights and all this and this. And then it said, light distance, six to 10 meters. And at first I thought, well, does that mean that the lights only light up at 10 to 10 meters, and, and what am I supposed to do with the other 40 meters? But no, it's it's saying that you should be able to see the damn light from six to 10 meters away. And you can't, I couldn't see the light unless I was right up on it. So, and it was like 1260 baht or something. So, you know, that was, what's that? That's 30, 40 dollars, four times three is 12, yeah, like, Almost 40 bucks for that? No, no, no. I'm gonna send it back. They'll refund to my wallet in Lazada. And, um, and then, uh, you know, I'll buy something else. Might just have to go to a local light store and, and pay the markup so that I can actually see the product first. I, mean, I don't mind sending stuff back, I guess, but if it's come from China and I gotta wait two or three weeks, two weeks or whatever, to get the product, and then it's not good, and I gotta send it back, you know, and do it again, whatever, until I get it right. Eh. You know, so I'm looking for a more immediate gratification. So I have to go buy the lights and put them on myself, or look at them at the store or whatever. What is that now? Oh, cobweb, oh I can feel it. Oh, that's right. Well, I should do try that. Now I'm thinking, you know, I have to. I'm gonna do some some network magic over there at the shop house to get those cameras up. I still haven't read up on the um, connecting those cameras to the internet, so to speak. But I know there's a way. I think I did it once when I had them at my house in California. So where there's a will, there's a way. So today is the day. Let me get over there and uh, we'll take a look at uh, what it looks like, see if I can get it going. All right, we'll get back at you. All righty, well, I'm here in my little shop house and uh, actually I have, this is a wireless extension router for the main one in the house, right? But it also has the WAN and LAN cables. So, 
or ports. So I'm hoping that hmm, that I can use one of those ports to port into this device to uh, is this on. I can use this device, you know, for the for the cameras. So what I brought was, and as a matter of fact, I think I mentioned earlier that I had all this cable from before. I got my 50 foot sound cable and a 50 foot nine pin, you know, for uh, for like a monitor cable and uh, what else? A 50 foot USB. But I think I might have already used my 50 foot Cat 6. I couldn't find any of it. What? But I did find one Cat 6 cable that already has the connectors on it. These RJ45s are already on it. So that's even a blessing. I don't have to crimp it. Uh, but I'll probably only be able to use this to test because it's probably not long enough to where I want to put the, the box with Cat, man, what are you doing? Cat insisted on coming in here. And he's just rubbing up against everything. I don't have food for you, bro. I already fed you. So, I do have to plug several things in, so. Do that. And really, if you've never seen these uh, security camera units are basically just a box, a little pizza box. This is this is a uh, Zomoto brand. You know, you can, just like a VCR or a DVR or whatever, they actually, they, I think they might even call it a DVR because you can play back and look at it and schedule it and all that stuff. And I believe it has the, the PTZ, which is point, eh, I don't know, where you can actually, you know, move the camera where you want to. Uh, but we won't be using that. I'm just gonna sit this down. I'm gonna put that Cat 6 in here. Actually, this folder is probably Cat 5. And uh, my power supply for the box. Cat, really? This is where you gotta be, right here. Dude. He'll start biting cables and stuff. That's 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 the problem I'll have with him. And I kind I didn't unplug everything when I set this up in my office space in my room or whatever. My guest room up there. I just um just. Attach the main parts. So it's probably a mess. It's a power for the four different cameras. They need power. They actually, I even, I still have the the wall mount for these cameras was good because I'm gonna obviously I'll probably I'm gonna mount it somewhere, right? So bro, well, I'm sorry bro, but I'm gonna have to move you over to this side. Okay. Lay right here. How's that? Is that good? Is that good? Put this in the pan. 
And uh, although, yeah, I probably do need to monitor. I wonder if I can use my iPad as a monitor. Hmm. I don't know. stuff over here, I'm ready to go. Whoa, whoa. Probably the most important part. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> what if I could use my TV over here as the monitor? It's a cheap TCL. It's got that. <clears throat> it's got the power. Let's see if it has a... Dude, it has... Well, it has... <clears throat> HDMI. I'm gonna go up to my room and see if. Oh, and I got the aircon on here too. It's pretty nice, huh? You like my palace? Uh, to see if I have a 9 pin to HDMI monitor connection. All right. I'll get right back at you. Well, of course, back at it, and I realized that, I don't know what I was thinking, man. Not only did I not have a monitor, but I also didn't bring my keyboard and mouse, because, you know, for the most part, this Zmodo DVR, you know, security system is a computer, you know, or a DVR, <clears throat> and, you need a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse. <coughs> but, you know, just spacing that out this morning. My monitor, I was gonna, I looked for the cable for the, like the nine pin, <coughs> oh, it's me. nine pin to the, uh, yeah. So that I could use my TV over there as a monitor, but uh, I remember yesterday when I was doing all this because I was trying to work with everything, I switched my monitor in the house to, uh, instead of the wall bracket that I had, I switched it to a hanging bracket. So in essence, I really, all I had to do was unplug it and pull it off the wall. And so I bring that here and I don't have to worry about that cable. Just hook it up. And what I did was I, I put, right now anyway, I put, uh, I just rested these two monitor, these two cameras in, in that over there, and then I rested those two over there for that pond. So that's why the, the monitor looks like that. Just for, you know, for my running test purpose to see if I can get it uh, online. I mean, it's, it's on right now, it's recording and all that. By the way, when I turned the camera off before and I was leaving, let me turn this a little bit. Um, the guy pulled up from a Lazada for another Lazada delivery. And what I got here was the, um, well, I bought a, uh, my, my iPad. Where's my iPad? Oh. My iPad has, uh, the case has been in tatters for a, a while and it doesn't really support the, that rock kind of position anymore, so. And it's broken at several places. So I got a new one, but what I wanted to do was get the one that I could add uh, like a Bluetooth keyboard to it Matter of fact, wait a minute, I thought it came with a mouse. And a keyboard. And, a, and I thought it was supposed to come with a mouse, and a keyboard, and a pen. Oh yeah. Well it came with the... With 
the pre, uh, you know, stylus. But I don't see the mouse anymore. Do you see a mouse? Anyway, so yeah, looks pretty cool. Nice. So what I wanted to do, really, I mean, I reason I got that keyboard, I, I needed a new cover, but then I wanted a keyboard for my iPad, basically to use it, you know, as a laptop in a cheap way. Instead of, I mean, I could have bought a used laptop for nothing, you know, because I really, just, I wanted the, the laptop primarily to do typing, you know. That's pretty much about it, mostly a lot of typing. And um, I want it to be mobile. Laptops are actually a bit cumbersome. Uh, so this little micro deal, the keyboard is almost full size in terms of my fingers. So I should be able to take this anywhere with relative ease and type and basically even come here into the shop house here. I won't have to take my computer. I can just come down here with my iPad and the keyboard and brrr, do my thing. Yeah. And it's probably gonna be a long, drawn out process of hit and miss. So, but I wanna be able to use the app at the same time, I want to make sure that I have that IP so that, um, you know, it's discoverable. Although, you know what, I need I need it to be, <clears throat> that's right, I, if I'm going to connect it to my OBS software and YouTube, I need, um, I need to have, I need to be at my computer to do that. Well, this will be connected. It's already connected. Which I'm thinking through it right now. The cameras are already connected. So technically I could, I could take back my monitor and my keyboard and mouse, providing that it doesn't cause error. I take my keyboard, my monitor, keyboard, and my mouse back to my other computer and because I plugged this into the local area network, I should be able to discover it with my OBS software. That way, if I discover it, I can link the cameras to OBS so that I can bring them across into, into YouTube, right? All right, well, let me try that. I'm gonna disconnect this stuff, and bring it up there, and uh, see if I can't make the magic happen. All right, let me get back at you.